ಹಾಗೇನ ಆಹ್ವಾನ to the point at least all of us here are adults we're here in respect of your daughter Omarecha my son here Lotanna find her worthy to be his wife and that is why we are here here at the drinks we can wait uh -huh. <laughs> You are all welcome to our land. <laughs> um, we've heard what you said. Your journey is a good one. But there is a way we do it here. We will summon our daughter to come and greet you. At the same time, you will confirm if she's really the one you talked about. <laughs> Bam. That is how it's been done. In that case, let's see her immediately. We can't wait to behold her beautiful face. Her name alone depicts beauty. Our son has high test. There's no doubt about it. You're all welcome. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's it cooler. Let's forget it again. Yes. Let's eat and marry. Yes. <laughs> Greetings, my elders. Hey. Oh. Yes. Hey. Oh, my, oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Such a beauty. I want to have a Sunday, okay. What can we do? Is it worth it? Uh, is she the one you talked about? Uh, wait, oh, let us find out from our son. Hey! Omalicha, do you know this young man? Yes, I do, Uncle. She says she knows. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, we can accept their drinks. Yes, Uncle. Our daughter, come and greet them. Greet them. Hey, hey. Hey.
This is a bad omen. What do we do? This has never happened in our family before. And it does not tell well about us. Eh? I don't know why you are bothering yourself. That guy must be a courtist. And his fellow courtist might have decided to attack him on a day like this. And at least this action have shown that she's not good enough for my sister. I never liked him in the first place. He never makes sense to me. No matter how you see it, this image must not be painted on our family. We must do something and help in the fight to capture whosoever that attacked our suitor. No. Okay. I Thank agree you. with you on that. Uh, and uh, I'm of the opinion that whatever we want to do, we need to do it very fast. Immediately. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh no, your majesty. I gave you strict instruction to go with the guards. I even went the extra mile to provide police escort for you. Why? Why would you attend such a function using a taxi? Taxi! I'm sorry, my king. I told the prince, but he wouldn't listen. He insisted that he must go in this car. As a commoner, nobody had any slightest idea that such a thing will happen. All of you should pray. Pray that nothing happens to my son. If something happens to you, I will serve your heads to the gods. Yes, doctor. Talk to me. Oh, just a slight injury. Oh, we thank the gods. All right. But make sure you give him all the care that he desires, okay? Your money is not the issue. All right. Thank you. Oh no. Prepare. You will take me to see those animals that wanted to kill my son. I will be so honest. It came that you wanted to cross me. After my niceness to you, I gave you two million. Two million! And yet, you allow some miscreants come to your house to ask for your sister's hands in marriage? Oh, Missy, but way, but way. It's not what you think. It is not in my character to betray someone. I can never and will never support my sister to marry that poor rat. Do not play with my intelligence. I promise you a lot of money and I'm ready to do more. I'm ready to take you abroad. All I want you to do is convince your sister to marry me. Time is against me. Oh, you see, consider it done. We don't have, we have nothing to worry about. So you did not hear that some unknown government shot that idiot in our compound. If that animal survives it, I don't think you will think of going close to my sister again. We don't have anything to worry about. Just give me time. I can't my sister. Shot. They shot that idiot, I'm telling you. If he survives it, he cannot go close to my sister again. 
You mean they shot him? <laughs> Just come go down. Let me tell you. Can I share my sister like this? <laughs> Let me tell you. Shot him. <laughs> you just if he survives it, he will not go close to my sister again. Um, my queen. I can no longer hide my feelings. I feel betrayed. You feel betrayed about what? I heard that my prince went to declare his intentions for a strange woman. And in the process, he got shot. Don't mind him. He went there against my wish and got attacked. That simply explains that that lady is not meant for him. Interesting. Um, in as much as I love the prince so much and I do not want to lose him, and I know so much that you don't want the prince to get married to any other person except me. I do not want the prince to get hurt in the process. Beg your pardon. What are you insinuating? Are you saying I sent gunmen after my own child? We both know what you can do, my queen. And I know how far you can go to achieve your desires. I would not want my prince to get hurt. I am begging you. Have a nice day. Someone has tempered with my pot of soup. Ha! Eh? Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> International chef, my pot cannot be dirty. Hey! Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So ah! There is a guard in my kitchen. <laughs> Somebody is guiding my kitchen for me. <laughs> Thank you for banking with us. Oh yeah, come out from there. But I come out from back of the door. But I come out from back of the door. Come on, come out outside. Eh? Eh? Come on, what you need So you have been the rat deleting meat from my bottle of soup. Eh? Not done it before. Okay? This is my first time. Eh? This is oh, my first time. Okay. No, wait. Let me understand you. You have not done it before, or this is your first time. This is my. I've not done it before. Believe me. Eh? Wow. See, it's not that you even stole the meat. You now stained my pot. Mm -hmm. International chef. My friend. Come on, my friend. Oh, yeah. Come on. Nida. Nida. Mushi. 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 Hey! Umushi! Eh? You have not done it before? Done it before. Wow. Please believe me now, you know me. Yes. 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 Thank you for banking with us. Yes. Uh, see, in fact, uh, you have not done it before. This is your first time and you have not even started. In fact, you stole this meat in your dream. It's not even in the real life. Not even have in it. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Oh yeah, raise your hand. Come on, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Please. Oh yeah, close your eyes. Please. I said close your eyes. Umushi! Close your eyes, or you face heaven. Face heaven! So that God will be seeing you. Or, or you want to face uh, uh, the devil that sent you to steal you. Or you face heaven. Face heaven! Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. My mouth? Yes, open your mouth. Uh -huh. So that more manners of meat will fall into your mouth. Yeah? Yeah? I said open your mouth. Face heaven. Face heaven. Go, go, go. <laughs> Ulushi! Thief! Thief! Igwe! Igwe!
Is this this long you brought my son without any security? I'm sorry, my king. I only acted on the prince instruction. Really? Yes, my king. We are having this conversation because my son is getting better. If my son had died, you and your entire household would have gone six feet down below. I'm sorry, my king. By the way, where are the occupants of this ramshackle building? Are they not hearing our voices? Uh, who is here? Who is here? Uh, Take me out of here. Could this be? Uloma is the mother of that girl that Lotana wants to get married to? No, it can't happen. I thought she was dead and forgotten. Your Majesty. You've been cold since you returned. What is the problem? Tell me and I promise I'll try and help you solve it. Please. I want to be left alone if you don't mind. Anyways, I'm going to the hospital. The doctor said that our son will be discharged today. So I want to go there and make some clearance. You have my approval. I left here, but you have refused to say anything to me. 
At least tell us your reason for this anxiety. Look, I don't have any problem with Lotana. I don't have any problem with that young man. But if that man that just left here is his father, then your marrying him will never be possible. I beg your pardon. <laughs> what in God's name are you saying, Mama? Exactly what you heard me say. If that man is Lotana's father, you will not marry him. That family is evil. There is no way I will be alive and watch you getting married to that family. God forbid you say that again. How can you even say that about a man you know I love so much? Are you being serious? Well, it's better you start getting yourself together. I mean, get prepared because you will definitely be a mother-in-law to that man. Yes, you will be a grandmother to our children. That's what every mother prays for. And you're here throwing away happiness that is coming to us on a platter of gold. I am going to marry Lotana whether you like it or not. Hey, could you come on, okay? Cut the ties you have with her family. Why? What do you mean why? You were almost killed because of that family. And I'm sure the person who brought them to kill you is from that family. Father, that's not enough reason for me to call a friend this way for you. Only if you can see a good face. You must not involve yourself in a family that your life is in danger. Olivia is a good girl. She is far better than that poverty infested common man. What's going on? What sort of arrangement is this one? Sincerely, I do not need your advice. Oh, come on, it's not an advice. This is a destruction from your father, the king, and it must be carried out. I have come to love this girl very much. Doesn't that matter to you? I will not leave her. That girl is a common. She is a noble life. And her family is evil. No wonder you were almost killed on the day of your introduction. Mom, Mom, what is wrong with you? It was a strange bullet. It was not meant for me. Who was it meant for? No, tell me, who was it meant for? I support your father with you. That girl is not possible. You will marry for this. How am I sure this is not a plot to stop me from marrying the woman in my choice? A plot? Why me? This argument is unnecessary. I have made my decision, and that decision is final. You are the father. So, you are not marrying that Amalija girl. And as for Olivia, I don't want you to force on me. Let him decide whether to marry her or not. Oh my God, the 
people no longer do Before they act It's painful Where is your conscience? Oh my God People no longer do Where is your conscience? Does it mean you do not have any reasonable thing to do with your time? Must you always come to the palace looking for my mother? Let me remind you, my mother is not your mate. You should hang out with your mates. On the contrary, my friends, I am not here to look for your mother. I am here to see you. And you are never around. Whenever you are around, you are all going to Why are you? Stop coming here to look for me, Olivia. Okay? I do not find you attractive. What? Yes. Get that into your skull. I do not find you attractive. You should get that into your thick skull by now. When you're done here, you can go home to your parents. One more thing. This is an advice for you. Look for another man to settle down with. Because I, Prince Lutana, I will never settle down with a woman like you. You are not my type. You will never be my type. My queen, I have never been this embarrassed in my entire life. My prince looked at me in the eye and told me he doesn't want to have anything to do with me ever. Tell me, is that the reason you were bothered? I have every reason to be bothered. Every single reason to be bothered. Look at me. I am not getting any younger. And you promised me that you would do anything to get Prince Lutana to my side. I beg you, please. You have to let this happen. Please, my queen. And to think he's with that, he's with that lady, that, that girl. A lady whose abject low life is evident. My dear, let me tell you. When I say there is nothing to be worried about, I mean there is absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing to be worried about. My queen, I am so much in love with your son. I mean, this has been way back. I've been in love with him since my childhood. And it's grown. I know what I feel. I know how I feel. Please make this happen. And nobody can do this except you. I beg of you, please. Initially, the king supported him to choose any wife of his choice. But after the attempt on his life, and the king visiting the same family he has warned him not to go close to, my dear, you can agree with me that the attempt on his life is for your favor. Tell me, my queen, do you have a hand in the gunshot towards my prince? Your son? Does it matter? No, tell me. Does it matter? Listen, what matters is that the attempt on his life created an impression that brought the king on our side. Yes, that should be your utmost concern. If you are sure he's passing through this direction, 
then consider it done. This time, there will be no mistakes. Let's forget about the last time. It was because lots of people were clustered around there, else I would have given him a shot in the head. But never mind. Get my money ready. I will not disappoint you. I think he's coming. Hang on. Where is my son? Your Highness, we have searched everywhere, but we could not see him. We asked around, but no one admits seeing him. Like seriously? You asked around? Eh? Look, don't let me vent my anger on you. What rubbish are you spilling from your mouth? You didn't see my son? And you have the temerity to come back to the palace? Now, you better go back and look for my son. If not, you will face my wrath. I am sorry, Your Majesty. That sorry will be your name. You will be the sorry if you do not bring my son back to this palace before dusk. Now get out of my sight. Yes, Your Majesty. My friend, I am so terrified. I am so scared right now. I just hope nothing has happened to him. To him because of the good. Shut your mouth. By the way, why would he leave the palace without a car or a guard? Why do I have this feeling that he has gone to see that girl? He is going to be with that girl. If he is with that girl, that will struggle the girl alive. She's the one making him to disobey me. Let him not just uh, disobey me again. God is not asleep at all. God is not asleep at all. He sees. Actions on which we take. Cause nothing is hidden, nothing is hidden before God. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, people no longer think oh, before they act. It's painful. Your conscience, oh my God, people no longer think where is your conscience. Act, it's painful, where is your conscience? Oh my God, people no longer think before they act. It's painful, oh my God, people no longer think before they act. What kind of a thing is this? How can the king send us out of the palace to look for a grown man? You know, I really don't understand how these rich men think at times. How can the king just wake up and make a decision just like that? Where do we find the prince? Where? The annoying thing is that the prince has refused to pick his goals. Hi. Look. What if the prince has been kidnapped by a You see exactly what I'm thinking. The king sent us out of the palace without ammunition, so to go in search of his son who is in the hands of 
men that have the AK-47 in their possession. Granny, listen to me. I will rather sleep here and put my ears to the ground. Any day the prince returns, I will go back to the palace. That is it. Udoka, what are you saying? Exactly what you heard. And what will you tell the king that kept you away from the palace? I will tell him that I have been in search of his son. If he likes, let him involve the police to look for his son. Are you not tired? My brother, I am tired. Because where do we see the prince? Where exactly is the prince? We are going to pick his calls. That is it. Talk to me. It rang. Yet it didn't pick. Oh my God! What kind of a problem is this? Oh my my queen. My queen. What is going on? He's not now. He left this palace since morning, and no one knows his whereabouts. And he is not picking his call. Oh no, my king. Did he come to your house today? Not at all. I did not see him. <laughs> but why will the prince leave the palace without seeing where he was going to? <laughs> that uh, I don't know. There's his security everywhere now. My king, I think we have to inform the police on this one. Your call now. Yeah. This is very unlike Lutana. Yeah. So again now, what is going on? What is what is what is going on? This is this is unlike him. Since he left, he hasn't called me. But I just, I just hope nothing is wrong. This man has fixed the date for our traditional marriage. The devil cannot put his hand in this. It will not work. <sighs> it's very unlike him. <sighs> Can I just speak now? Can I just speak? Oh no, my king. Can you imagine this nonsense? Eh? This is serious. How do I not know his whereabouts? How could the prince make such a mistake? Huh? Your Majesty. I think we should involve the police in this matter immediately before it becomes too late. Yes. Lutana needs to be found before his adopters take him further. And what would I be telling the police? Huh? That my son, a full grown man, left the house without his phone? And we, we, we don't know his whereabouts? And by the way, how did you conclude that uh, he has been abducted? Lutana, what kind of rubbish is this? You left this palace since morning and no one knows your whereabouts. And to make the matters worse, you left without your funds. I'm sorry. Do not tell me you are sorry, Lutana. Do you know the anxiety you have caused us? Lothar, I am totally disappointed in you. How could you? Eh? Where did you go? And why are you coming back at this time? Like I said earlier, Father, 
My apologies. I went to see a friend in a distant land. Distant land? You mean you left this kingdom without my consent? Do you know the implication? Considering the security situation of his death, there is no better security than the security of the gods. Father. Yes, I know, my friends. Huh? But do not take such risk next time. You know your life is so dear to us. Huh? No time. You know I am not happy with you. You are going to pay for giving me the wrong information. You kept me on the road and the guy didn't show up. Listen to me. You should have verified your information before dishing it out to me. Bros, we need to talk. Call me later. What gave you the impetus to disobey my orders, Mutana? Father, I have kept all instructions you gave to me while growing up as a child. I will also keep any other instruction you give to me. But to choose a wife for me, I am sorry, Father, that is not possible. I am going to marry Omalicha whether you like it or not, unless you're ready to tell me the reasons you don't want me to. And of course, your reasons must be valid. How dare you? How dare you stand before me to make such a challenging statement? Of all the stories that you told me, Father, you never told me that anyone chose a wife for you. So why do you want to meddle in my own decision of a life partner? Watch your tongue, Lotanna. You are speaking to the king. Exactly, my friends, calm down. The king, your father, must have a reason as why he does not want you to marry from that family. You know what? An old man sees white city. You young men can climb any mountain and you will not be able to see Oh no, will please spare me all that obsolete proverb that has been overused and trivialized. Huh? Yes! Over time, my father has refused to explain to me why he does not want my choice of a life partner. And until he's ready to do so. Good night, everyone. Huh? What? God is not asleep at all. God is not asleep at all. He sees every action. Walker, what food of this forest? Open this gate at once. My prince, it is not in me to disobey you, but the king gave an order. He said I must never allow you to step out of this palace without saying where you are going. And if you must leave, you must leave with a guard. That is the thing, Sonja. Talking rock. Open this gate. I'm sorry, my prince, you cannot leave.
Tana, I know you do not love me, but we are not established enemies. Can you talk to me what is really going on? Can you? Thank the gods you have come to the realization that I do not love you. That's been said. Stop pestering my life. Whatever cock and bull story you came here to tell, I am not ready to listen to it. Lutana, I am ready to do anything and everything to make you happy. Please listen to me. Please. Olivia, whatever arrangement you have with my mother should remain between you two. Okay? I do not love you. I will never love you. I love Omalicha and she's the one I must marry. Now this is being too harsh. This is not nice. You don't talk to a lady like that. You do yourself a favor and leave my presence. I would like to be left alone. I will not leave you. The same way you feel when you see me is the same way I feel when you treat me the way you do, please. But I, all I just want is to make you happy. Is that too much to ask? Is it? Your man, Joey. <laughs> your sister is here to give me her consent to be her husband, and you keep on telling me that things will work out. Do you think I have all this time on my side? Your man, your man. See, just give me some more time. Omanicha is my sister, she's going to marry you. That marriage between my sister and Rutana is not going to work. Believe me, you're really not taking me serious. Listen, I've given you a lot of money, and I'm ready to do more. So it's better you keep the side of the back end and don't try to be smart because you're not going to find it funny. I said, give me some more time. Just give me some more time. Ekenda, I didn't come back to Nigeria to waste time. I have my aims. And you shouldn't make me lose that aims. Do you understand me? Yes. But I when I tell you to give me time, I have my plans on ground. My sister Omaricha is not going to marry that lunatic. Is it that she get married to you or she will remain single all the days of her life? Listen, I don't have much time in Nigeria. You are the one delaying this right now. 
immediately after our traditional marriage, we'll be going to North America. I'm aware. Who is that? You're aware. Yes. I'm not sure you are. I am. God, give me small time. I should give you small time. Yes. You can now. There's no time with my time. And you should know that. No small time. Can I share my sister? Can I share my sister? My sister must marry you. Me go 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 Son, what is the problem? We are waiting for you to come downstairs so that we'll leave. Leave to where? Your father. Everyone is waiting. Your marriage introduction to Olivia has been fixed and you must be there. So don't tell me you don't know what I am talking about. I am not going to be part of a kangaroo arrangement to a family of a girl I know nothing about. Listen to me, mother. I have had it up to here. Okay? I have been lenient enough with all the madness and razzmatazz going on in this house, but I will not take it any further. If care is not taken, I will involve the Human Rights Commission over this drama with my father. Nobody, I repeat, mother, nobody will impose on me what to do or whom to marry. That's period. Not now. Your father wants to say. I don't want to see my father. What is going on in this house? So you two now can violate my rights? I am an adult and I choose to marry who I want to marry. And right now, I would like to be left alone. Stop saying that, Lotana. We did not train you to be obstinate. Your father wants to see you. And the best thing you are supposed to do as the true son of the sword is to know why he is calling you and not to be ranting. Lotana! Lotana! I am talking to you, Lotana! Lotana! I have consented to your mother's suggestion for you to marry Olivia as your wife. Therefore, I need you to get some of our kinsmen and a few of my cabinet members. Go to her family and declare your intentions to marry her. This is an order and you must carry it out. His Royal Majesty, Igwe Maswell Akubwe. 
Obajiriwe the second, O Mr. Ufumbosi the fourth, O Jidibe the sixth, Mokike. Are you not the same custodian of tradition I grew up under his watch? What are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is, it is not in the character of a king to force his son into a marriage that he did not consent to. I told you that I wanted to marry your marriage. And you supported the idea and gave me your blessings. But after what happened at her house during the introduction, you have suddenly changed your mind about me marrying her. Even though you have not given me reasons until this very moment. Father, with all due respect, I will not marry any other woman besides Omalicha. Lotan, let the palm wine that will cause enmity between elders pour on the road. The attempt on your life on the day of your introduction, whether by omission or commission, is a sign of bad omen. Therefore, we cannot continue with the process of your marrying that girl. Why didn't you get the police to carry out an investigation, Father? Like I said earlier, Father, I will not marry any other woman but Omalicha. You have to tell me the reason you do not want me to get married to her. If you don't tell me, Father, I will remain single all my life. I have fallen in love, fallen in love with you, fallen in love. I have fallen in love with you, I have fallen in love, fallen in love with you, fallen in love. You're my baby, oh my little, give me love, you're my heart, oh my little. I don't want peace, I want trouble. This rapper belongs to my mother. A woman who is happily living in her husband's house. Go to your husband's house! And who is my husband if I may ask you? Who is my husband? Your husband is very Brazil. Ojiega Zoku na South America. He's a man who is fit enough to be your husband and he can buy you any rapper of your choice. You Ojiega, you cannot give me my rapper. Give me my rapper, what is the meaning of this? Man, 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 you are getting thin. Man. What is your problem? What is your problem? Mama, eh? this you is not the time to support your manager. What is the meaning of all this? You don't have to support Omari on this! She should go and ma get married. She should go and get married! For what? Eh? Mama, Harry Brazil is the man I have decided to accept his customary bride price mm -hmm. as the man of this house. And Omari here must marry him. A woman of the house. A of the house, Kiwi. You are the man of the house. Okay, give me my rapper. You can't stand this house. Give me my rapper. Okay, I can't go. Okay, I can't go. Okay, I can't go. Okay, I can't go. I must be honest with you, sir. It is better you marry someone who loves you more than you love her. I do not have any iota of feelings for Olivia. That is because the gap between two of you is too wide. You need to get close to her. When you get close, you will begin to see that love that she professes for you. As a matter of fact, when you are close to a woman, you will see that thing that will make you fall in love. That is the truth, my son. What wrong did Omanicha's family commit? Why did you all of a sudden change your mind about us getting married? Diochi does not say everything he sees on top of the palm tree 
Tell me in confidence, Father. What did the family do? Look, the wife, or rather the girl you are about to marry, has not done anything wrong. But the, the mother is cursed. The family is cursed. Now, the parents committed a sacrilege in the land, abomination, and they were ostracized. So they migrated to where they are presently. Now, let me ask you, sir. If you decide to pay the bride price of that girl where they are right now, to which God are we going to pour the libations? You see what I mean? So please, think about this revelation, sir. I've heard what you said, Father. But I will not settle immediately for Olivia. I will first think about this. The question is, what sacrilege did the family commit that you do not want to tell me, Father? Look, sir. Certain things are better left unsaid. Then I will find out myself. I will ask Omalicha or her mother. You will do no such thing. I forbid you from ever seeing that family. That woman is cursed. And she cannot be part of the royal household. That family wants to desecrate this palace through you. And therefore, I don't want to see you with them again. Lotana. You are waging war against your father, the king. Don't let the fire consume you. It is time for erosion to excavate that which was buried. Where Alfred could wear. What are you doing in my compound? What are you looking for? Hello. It was miscalculation or incompetence on the part of my boys that made it possible for oxygen and carbon dioxide to be passing through your nostrils by now. I don't know what transpired, but I'm sure you gave your body in exchange for your life, you cheap slot. Have you then come to accomplish what you could not fulfill 27 years ago? Is that why you're here? Oh, no, no. The saying that live and let live has been there since time immemorial. You should have thought of that. You should have thought about that when you made an attempt on the life of the innocent. Are talking back at me? I'm not here to banter words with you. I'm here to warn you. To ask your daughter to desist from seeing my son. If I ever catch a whiff of her presence anywhere close to my son again, I will wipe you and your entire family 
out of the surface of this earth. Leave my compound. Leave my compound. If Anayojuku was a trustworthy servant, all this past won't be staring me on the face. Simple instruction and he failed to carry it out. No doubt, I was compelled to snatch life out of him. He was such a slimy bastard. I have no regrets about his death. If he had done the needful, all this would be happening. God is not asleep at all. God is not asleep at all. He sees every action. Cause nothing is hidden, nothing is hidden. Who is that man? He's Lieutenant's father. <laughs> what do you mean, Lieutenant's father? That man is a king. Lutana is not a prince, so how can he be his father? Well, that's what it appears to be. And like they say, like father, like son. Mama, you still have not said anything. You haven't answered my question. Because I don't understand what you mean, like father, like son. What's the connection? Look, my daughter. If Lutana can hide his true paternal identity from you. Then, he is capable of hiding anything, I mean, anything from you. Mama, no. How can you say a thing like that? You and I know that Lotana is a very, very good man. It's not possible. <laughs> My daughter, you don't understand. And you will not understand. Look, I want you to cancel whatever you have with that young man. Yes. Huh? You have to kill your feelings for him. Ha! Because they don't mean well. Mama, 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 Biko, Biko, please. Let me just make this clear. Don't! Which one is kill my feelings for him? Mama, you know how much I love that man. And my mind is made up. He is the one or nobody else. So if you know you're having issues with the father, you better start explaining to me. I mean, explain this whole thing. Else I am not, what am I even saying? I am not going to end what I have with Lutana, and that is fine now. Mama Biko, if that is what you have in mind, just cancel it, cancel it, because it will not work. Mama Biko, listen to me. Look, 
you are my only daughter. And I want the best for you. There is a saying that what an adult, I mean, what an elder sees sitting down, a child can never see it, even if he cries the highest mountain. Listen to me. I want you to cancel whatever you have with that young man. No, it's not about Lutana. It's about his father. Please, for the sake of peace, I want you to cancel whatever you have with him. Please. Igwe Akubwe of Umekem Kingdom is an evil man. Yes, how may I help you? Good evening, sir. Good evening, how may I help you? I want to see Lutana. I advise you refer to my prince with some respect. Who we have here is Prince Lutana Akubwe. Mata and I raise the one of this great kingdom. Um, that, that, that's the exact person I'm looking for. Is he aware that you are coming? Do you have any appointment with him? Sir? How did you find this place? So it's true. What's on the way, Prince? You didn't even say anything to me. You are a prince of another community. Omalicha, I'm very sorry. I did not think it was necessary to reveal my identity to you at the time. Well, it was necessary. Your father was at my house today. After his visit, my mother blatantly told me that whatever we share cannot work. She said our marriage cannot hold. What, what is going on? My father said that to your mother? Yes. Did he give his reasons? You know what? Just come. Just come with me, okay? If the king sees you here, it's going to be problem. Who is that person who wants to defy my palace? Guards! Seize her, tie her up, and give her 24 strokes of the cane! Now, if Lotana interferes, Tie him up also. Don't come here. Hey, please let me go. 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 Let me Sorry. Look at your body. You mean that animal's father did all this to you? I am going to make an unforgettable statement to that family. For them to know that our family is not coward. We have said it before. And I'm saying it again. You cannot marry that young man. For her. Mama, you see me? Mama, you go, you go, you go, please don't even start. Don't start, oh, please. But what do you mean by that? Mama, you go just have my car now, leave me alone, please. You heard me right. Just forget whatever you have with that young man. That family is a no-no to me. Mama, I'm not going to end anything I have with you. Uh-uh. Lotana is the only man I have loved all my life. You go, you should just leave me alone. Have no man leave me alone. His uh family is evil. Omarita, you cannot marry that boy. Henry is better than that boy in all angle. Henry is rich. Mom, uh, whether Henry is rich or not, I, I don't want him. And I'm ready to take more pains for Lutana. He's the person I'm going to be with. Huh? People should just leave me alone, Mama. Leave me. Let me lose my pain. Be for me. 
Just leave me. What has he given to you? Eh? What did Lotana give to you to eat? Mama, will you withdraw that statement? Withdraw that statement before then. I am going to teach that family a lesson they will not forget in a hurry. Mama, talk to her. Talk to her. How long will you continue like this? Hey! Hey! I know No, mother, you do not know how I feel. No one in this house knows how I feel. I alone know where it pinches me. Up till now, my father has not given reasons why he disgraced me before my woman, the woman that I love. He has frustrated all my effort and this relationship without giving any good reason for his action. What exactly is my father hiding? You're right in whatever you say, son. But I want you to also know that I am not in support of whatever your father is doing. But you have to calm down. I'll find out what his reasons are. He has no right whatsoever to distort my marriage. Does he know what it took me to build this relationship? Does he know? I have suffered for this relationship and no one is going to jeopardize it. Else, this could not be torn to shreds. So, please listen to me. He is your father and the king. I don't care. I am the son and the heir apparent to this throne. I have rights and those rights must be respected. Okay, mother? You see that woman? No one will stop me from marrying her. Come what me, I will marry her and no one will stop me. Lotana, you are overreacting. Let me tell you, you can afford to be in an meeting with your father because of a strange woman. Yes. Mother, did you just call the woman that I love a strange woman? I am very angry right now. Please, I would like to be left alone. Did you just say that to me? Lutana, did you just say that to me? No problem. I will let you be. God is not asleep at all. God is not asleep at all. He sees every action. Your Majesty, you went too far. How could you humiliate your own son before the gods? Why wouldn't I? What gave him the right to disobey my orders? He invited that stupid girl to my palace against my orders. What effrontery! And all you could do was to order the guards to flog the girl and make him watch. To what gratifications? What now happened to the love language that we taught our son on how to protect his own? Oh, you expected him to sit and not react. He's my son. He must obey me. Your Majesty, in an attempt to make a statement that will uphold your respect to be intact in this palace, just be sure you're not igniting an inferno. That boy is now a man. And everyone in this palace deserves some 
element of respect. No matter what. You heard me. Very good. That serves her right. With this now, she will run far away from my friends. Yes, you're right. But we don't even know how the experience makes the friends. And no one can tell his reaction. And what if he elopes with her, you know, goes somewhere distant and settle with her? Just what if? I can never allow that to happen. I have set up a team of surveillance to put an eye on him in case he tries to elope. They will capture him and bring him back under my custody. I just don't want anything to happen to me. He is my son. Nothing will happen to him. I have everyone, everything under my palm. So be confident. Okay? Um, you should try and see him now. He is in his weakest moments. Try and galvanize wet, smoothing enough to make his heart mellow. Lieutenant has been in his room and he has refused to talk to anybody. I even invited Olivia to help snap him out of his pardon, but all to no other. Your Majesty, you still have not told me the reason you said our son will not marry Takia. All the reasons you gave me are not cogent enough. Please. Let us not talk about this. That girl will not marry our son. I mean, just look at it. His family and her family, they can't align. They are not of the same class with us. Okay? Right. If I understand you very well. Are you saying you are not going to tell me what your reasons are? Should I? Yes, go ahead. Am I obliged to tell you? Of course. No. Why? I must not tell you everything. I must not give you reasons. All I know is that our son cannot marry that girl. We are going to look for another wife for him. And come to think of it, you've been an advocate of uh, him marrying Olivia. So what has changed? Opportunity has presented itself. So sell your candidate. God is not asleep at all. God is not asleep at all. He sees every action on which we turn. Cause nothing is hidden, nothing is hidden before God. Yes. It's going to take a while. But I'll be fine. Let me call you back, please. Prince Lotana. A lot of families have problems because their parents refuse to support their marriage. And when the wind of marriage blows, 
they will have no one to fall back to. How are you doing, Mr. Hanson? Olivia, walking into a room without being invited doesn't speak good of a lady who is of marriageable age. What are you doing here? My apologies. I heard you had an encounter with your father. And since then you refused to, I mean, talk to anyone or even eat anything. So? What does that make you? My dietitian or my custodian? No, tell me, go ahead, tell me. Since when did it become your business if I eat something or not? Prince Lothar. I know you don't like me. But that doesn't stop how I feel about you. I want to do anything to make you happy. I mean, you're too hard on yourself. Tell me anything you want me to do, and I will do it. Please. You really want to make me happy? Good. Go out there. Tell my father to allow me marry the woman of my choice. Tell him to approve and support my marriage to a manager. If you do this, and he goes ahead to do what you ask of him, Trust me, we will remain friends forever. And I will be very happy for the rest of my life. Run along. Now. here to answer my questions. I'll rather be left in. I don't want you in my room if you're not ready to tell me anything. Asking me out of your room will not solve anything. Well, you are my mother. You ought to tell me everything that concerns me. Why don't you want me to get married to Lotana? What, what wrong has he done? Mom, like I said, if you don't want to tell me anything, please. I want to be left in now. What is your problem? Yaomalicha, what is your problem? Eh? Have you forgotten that I am your mother? Look, just in case you have forgotten, I am your mother. And you must not forget that fact for anything in this world. What is it? Look, let me warn you. The next time you talk to me in an unruly manner, I will deal with you. I will deal with you. You are yet to tell me what you are hiding. Why can't we get married? What's the problem? What's so, what's so hard? I mean, mother, please just tell me what is going on, please. What else do you want me to tell you, Emma? What do you want me to tell you? The fact that you went to the house and you were disgraced and fraud for no just reason. Does that not send any message to you? Can't you see that you cannot contain with the father's toxicity and it could be transferred to the boy? Or haven't you heard 
like father, like son. Mother Lutana loves me so much. He won't do anything to hurt me. Hmm. See, 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 let me play again. I am not talking about Lutana. I am not talking about Lutana. I am talking about his father. And look, you must obey me. You must obey me. The way the father treated me shows that he doesn't like me at all. Oh, you see? Have you seen what I mean? This is exactly my point. You cannot get married to a family you cannot gain full acceptance from. Because when it comes to marriage, it's not just the man and the woman that are involved. In our tradition, every member of the extended family are part and parcel of that family. Therefore, they all have a say. If they don't accept or support that union, it will never work. Because they all have a say. Oh, I don't want to talk. I, won't, I don't want to say this again. You are not going to marry Lutana. Be real. Sees every action on which we take. Cause nothing is hidden, nothing is hidden before God. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, we could no longer think. The king said he's not in his right frame of mind to see anyone. It's all right. Yes, it's fine. See, my queen, the king has not been attending to the issues concerning this kingdom lately. And the thing is affecting us. You see, the other day, the local government chairman wanted to visit our kingdom on a demand for the royal support concerning the forthcoming election. Uh, but you, you see, we need the king's uh, consent before we can prepare the atmosphere for his visit. I know, honestly, I don't know what to say right now. But all I know is that whenever the king is in his right frame of mind, he will attend to all the issues related to the kingdom. It's all right. Uh, how about the police? My son is not happy with his father. He has been indoors for some time because of the king's refusal for him to marry a woman of his choice. And the king, on the other hand, is not giving a convincing reasons for his actions. This is serious, my boy. But whatever that is happening in this kingdom needs to be handled as a matter of urgency before it will start affecting the kingdom at large. Anyway, I pray that God will give you wisdom, you know, to take care of the situation. And I promise to do my best. It's all right, my queen. <clears throat> I want to pray for my baby. It's okay. Send me well to your wife. She will hear. Bye for me. I don't understand my husband anymore. This whole thing is shattering my home. Nothing is hidden, 
Tired of this madness. I cannot continue to be in this house. The best thing to do is to forget about this royal cozy life. I need to build my own life and establish a better family for myself. I've had enough of my father ordering me around without allowing me to make choices for myself. So, shall I see? Yeah. Your Majesty, our son locked himself up in his room since yesterday and has refused to eat. We cannot allow him to continue like this. So, what do you want me to do? Huh? He locked himself up. Refused to eat simply because I stopped him from marrying that stupid girl. I know he's matured enough to know what to do. When he's hungry, he will find food for himself. For oh, your majesty, if you really do not want him to marry that girl, then tell him your reason. That is what he has been demanding from you since. I owe him no explanation. Do you know why? I am his father and the king. By the way, talking about explanation, have you explained to him why you wanted him to marry Olivia? Son? 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 Where is he going? Have you not done? What have you not done? When you among those supporting my star, this is me not to marry Henry. Almost made all my effort in vain. It's a lie, yo. Hey! It's a very big lie. I have never supported Omali child to get married to the prince. It's a lie. How can I say? You do not support Omali child, but you were there. Were you not there as her friend? You were ready to be her, she be that day. But did I not see you? Uh, I had no choice. Eh? She has already decided to marry um, Lutana. And what do you expect me to do? She's my friend and I have to support her. Ha. This is your friend. Mm -hmm. I told I told you, my child that that useless boy is going to disappoint her. Now look at all of you. I am laughing at all of you. Ikenna, I am sorry. I promise you, it will not happen again. Okay? Please. I want you to help me talk to Henry for me, please. 
I like him. And I am willing to get married to him. Since your sister doesn't love him, please. Look at your mouth. I should help you and talk to Henry. You are ready to marry him. Marry my investment. Yes, I am willing to marry him. Will you shut up? You know what? You just want to marry Henry. Anyway, since you can betray your own friend, you can betray your friend after you say she's your friend and you want to betray her. Anyway, I will not tell her. But stay away from Henry. Henry now because you just want to marry, you want to marry him. I like him so much. You still want to marry him? Just, just help me talk to him, please. I'm begging you, oh. Ike, baby. Oh my God. People no longer think before they act. It's painful. It's your conscience. So, what is our fate now? I'll marry you no matter what. That's our fate. Listen. I cannot live this life without you. Nothing will ever separate us. I'm yet to understand why your father and... and my mother have refused for us to be together. Why? Your mother said the same thing? Yes, she did. And she has refused to tell me her reason. But your mom has never opposed our union. Obviously, there is... There is something they are not telling us. A secret they have decided to take to their grave. What do we do? Well, since they have refused to tell us the reason why they don't want us to be together, and they have decided to trample on our rights, I think the best thing to do is to elope. Lutana. Did you say elope? Yes. To, to where? Why, why would you even say a thing like that? Say, hey, I don't know. But that's the only thing that comes to my mind right now. We have to do this. That way, they would beg us to return. And we would tell them that the only way we would, we would return you make it sound so easy. You know this is going to be tough. I know, I know this is going to be tough. But nothing good comes easy, my love. Okay? Either do this, or we heed to the decisions of our parents. Thank you. Thank you. What's the meaning of this? I'm asking you, what is the meaning of this? I want us to talk. I hear they call you Edu Brazil. So why not behave like someone who has been tamed by the regulations of the Western world? Get this car out of my way. I want us to talk. I have nothing to talk with you. I said remove this car out of my way. I am not your enemy. 
From the first time I set my eyes on Omalisha, I felt she's the woman for me. <laughs> Boy, you're on my way. And I can't compete with the prince. Mm -mm. Prince Lothan now. I'm ready to do anything as long as it has to do with money. Just for you to leave Omalisha for me. If love can be bought with money, why did you not grab a bunch of it from one of the grocery shops in Brazil? Listen to me. Stay away from Amalicha. You will not marry her. Stay away from her and avoid me. <laughs> 